Pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon ang tungkol sa remainder theorem. So, meron tayong given dito as find the remainder when p of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x minus 2 is divided by x minus 2. So, from the... So, ibig sabihin dito, uh, kukunin natin yung remainder kapag i-divide natin yung x cubed plus 5x minus 2 kay x minus 2. So, from the given, na, or from the divisor na x minus 2, Karoon tayo dito ng let x minus 2 is equal to 0. Tapos kukunin natin ngayon yung x niya. So, x is equal to positive 2 kasi itatranspose natin yung uh, 2 sa right side. Tapos, kukunin natin yung given. So, p of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x minus 2. Tapos yung given natin or yung value natin ng x is equal to 2, isa-substitute lang natin siya dito kay p of x. So, magkakaroon tayo ng p of 2 is equal to magkakaroon tayo ng 2 to the cube plus 3 uh, 5. It's 5 po. So, 5 times 2 minus 2. Tapos isisimplify natin ngayon yung uh, 2 to the cube. So, bali magmumultiply ka ng tatlong 2. So, meron tayong 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2, this is 4 times 2. Magkakaroon ka dito ng 8. So, uh, pag sinimplify, ito ay magiging 8. Tapos, 5 times 2. So, plus 10 minus 2. Tapos, gagamit tayo ng, uh, isisimplify natin, gamit siya ng m dash or multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction rule. So, since nauna ang addition, ito muna. So, 8 plus 10 is equal to 18 minus 2. So, 18 minus 2, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 16. Ngayon, kung gumamit tayo ng uh, Uh, solution or sinolve natin siya manually, pwede naman tayo gumamit ng scientific calculator para isolve yung given natin. So, ganito siya. So, meron tayong given is x cubed plus 5x minus 2. Gagamitin pa din natin yung p of 2 natin. Or, ito yung itatype natin sa calculator para uh, i-check natin kung tama yung magiging sagot natin. So, meron tayong 2 to the cube tapos plus 5 times 2 minus 2 so kung mapansin nyo, ang sagot natin sa manual solution is 16 sa calculator it's 16 so kapag dinibide mo yung given na x cube plus 5x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 16. Okay, next given naman natin is find the remainder when p of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2 is divided by x plus 3. So, kung mapansin nyo, parehas lang ng given, pero nagkaiba lang siya ng divisor, which is x plus 3. So, from the divisor again, so meron tayong let x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, magkakaroon natin ng x is equal to negative 3. So, yun yung ipapalit natin kay p of x, yung negative 3. So, given natin is p of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x minus 2. Tapos, palitan natin siya ng p of negative 3 is equal to. So, lahat again ng x natin or yung mga x natin, papalitan siya ng negative 3. So, magkaroon tayo dito ng negative 3 cube plus 5 times negative 3 minus 2. Tapos, isisimplify natin ngayon yung negative 3 cube. So, magkaroon tayo ng tatlong negative. So, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So, negative 3 times negative 3, this is positive 9. Tapos, times negative 3, magkaroon ng negative 20. 7. So, may value tayo dito ng negative 27. Tapos, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Tapos, minus 2. Since lahat sila ay negative, ang gagawin natin is, i-add natin siya. So, 27 uh, 
uh, negative 27 minus 15 minus 2. So, negative yung magiging sign. Tapos, i-add natin yung 27, 15, at saka 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na negative 44. So, yan po yan. Kapag dinibay natin yung given na x cubed plus 5x minus 2 divided by x plus 3, ang remainder na makukuha natin ay negative 44. Ngayon, i-check naman natin gamit ang scientific calculator kung tama ba yung maging sagot natin na negative 44. So, meron tayong given is, so ito yung i-enter natin sa calculator. So, meron tayong negative 3 cubed. Tapos, plus 5 times negative 3 minus 2. So, ang sinyo, ang sagot, natin, ang sagot sa calculator ay negative 44. So, tama yung, magig, tama yung solution natin gamit yung manual solution, which is negative 44. Okay, next game natin is find the remainder when p of x is equal to x to the 4 minus 10x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x plus 5 is divided by x minus 10. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng uh, synthetic division kung ayaw gumamit ng substitution. Parehas din naman magiging sagot nun. So, kung gagamit tayo ng synthetic division, kukunin natin yung uh, given. So, from the given, x to the 4 or yung p of, p of x is equal to x to the 4 minus 10x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x plus 5. Tapos, i-check natin ngayon yung exponent natin or yung sequence na exponent natin kung kompleto pa. So, nagsimula siya sa 4, 3, 2, and 1. So, kunin natin yung kanyang x to the 4, x cubed, x squared, x and the c which is the constant. So, ang kasama ni x to the 4 ay invisible 1. Ang kasama ni x to the 3 is negative 10. Ang kasama ni x squared ay 2. Ang kasama ni x ay negative 8. At ang constant natin ay 5. So, from the given, sumula dito, or from the divisor, kukuha tayo ngayon ng pang-divide. Pang so, meron tayong let x, my, let x minus 10 is equal to 0. Tapos yung x natin is equal to positive 10. So, yun ang ilalagay natin dito as our divisor. Tapos, the same doon sa synthetic division process. So, i pababa natin or bring down yung 1. Tapos, i-multiply natin doon kay 10. So, 1 times 10, magiging sagot dito is 10. Tapos, negative 10 plus 10. Magkakaroon tayo na sagot na 0. Tapos, yung 0, i-multiply natin siya kay 10 ulit. So, 0 times 10, magkakaroon ka dito ng 0. Tapos, 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. Tapos, yung 2 naman, i-multiply ulit natin siya doon kay 10. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 times 10 is 20. Tapos, negative 8 plus 20, magkakaroon tayo ng sagat na positive 12 kasi malaki yung 20. So, ang sign ni 20 ay positive kaya maging positive 12. Subtract siya kasi hindi sila magkaparehas ng sign. Tapos, yung 12, i-multiply natin siya dun kay 10 ulit. So, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 120. So, i-add natin yung 5 plus 120. So, 5 plus 120 is 125. So, ito yung given. So, Ito na yung magiging sagot. So, 1, 0, 2, 12, and 25. So, saan natin makukuha yung remainder natin? So, sabi di, uh, from here, x to the 4, minus tayo ng isa. This is x cubed, x squared, x, c, and r. So, ito yun, yung r. Yung r natin is 125. I-check naman natin ngayon kung ang sagot nating r is equal to 125 o yung remainder natin ay 125 gamit ang calculator. So, pag nag-enter kayo sa calculator, ang gagawin nyo muna is uh, yung x to the 4. So, x to the 4 minus 10 x cubed. So, from the original given, 2x squared 
minus 8x plus 5. Yung x na to, yung mga x dito, papalitan natin siya ng positive 10 or 10. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 10 to the 4 minus 10 times 10 to the cube plus 2 times 10 squared minus 8 times 10 plus 5. So, ito yung i-enter natin sa calculator para ma-check natin kung ang sagot ba nito ay 125. So, meron tayo 10 to the 4. So, ship. Tapos, palitan lang natin yung 3 ng 4. Ayan. Tapos, minus 10 times 10 cube tapos plus 2 times 10 squared minus 8 times 10 plus 5 so habang sinyo ang sagot natin is 125 sa scientific calculator sa manual solution it's 125 10 so tama yung sagot natin